We actually call this vehicle the Naviator for the capabilities of Navy and air. It's a drone that is able to fly and also maneuver underwater. So it's a, literally a, a new device that was not available before. So we were very lucky to get the uh, Office of Naval Research to fund this work. We usually never see vehicles that can do, that can operate in multiple environments. We only see ones that operate in either air, water. This vehicle, you can actually take it in many environments. They have submarines that can launch things from the submarine and, and it pops out into the water and it goes, does some things, but it can't come back, right? It does one mission and one mission only. And then you have uh, some airplanes that deploy vehicles from the air that, you know, dive into the water and then from then on they're in the water, they can't come back out. So what this vehicle does is it, it does all those things. It can get out from underwater and it can go into the water from the air. So effectively it can do all sorts of missions. So literally you have a threat or you have a mission to accomplish, you release the vehicle from a bridge, from a, from a boat. It travels some distance, goes underwater, it does the job, comes back. So it's rapid deployment, I think it's a key word in there. Oh, they have a number of applications that we've been talking about, bridge inspections. You can deploy from the bridge, goes underwater, investigates, and you can make a decision, do I need to send a repairman or not? Another one is pollution. You know, you have an oil spill. You can investigate how deep, how far it goes. I think the scalability is going to be one of the biggest problems with this. It's been hard to make it so that it's, it can actually carry payloads that are relevant or even useful. Improve its robustness underwater, make it so that it can go in all sorts of directions, do all sorts of missions. This is the first prototype. It's still in a basic concept. We like to make it more robust, be able to go faster, deeper, add more sensors, be able to do more. So it's just increasing its capabilities.